third one, this will be how one square, one semicircle, and its length is given two. These two parts are given as equal. The question is, what is the length of the x? Okay. First of all, notice that one side of the square is given two units, right? So this length is also two, and these two parts must be equal one unit. After that, if we connect these two brains, notice that there is diameter opposite side of the angle BFC, right? So angle BFC must be equal 90 degrees. Right. Then I want to represent the length of the BD with A. Therefore, for triangle BDC, 1 squared plus 2 squared equal A squared, right? So 1 plus 4 equal A squared. That means A squared equal 5. So A is going to be root 5 units. That's right here. A equal root 5. Then let's call here B. And here is 90 degrees, right? So for this triangle, if we apply Euclid's theorem, one squared equal B times this length, right? Root 5. So B equal 1 over root 5. Okay. That's right here. 1 over root 5. Then for this triangle, if we apply Pythagorean theorem, we get this length as 2 over root 5. And likewise, for this triangle, if we apply Pythagorean theorem, this length we get as 4 over root 5. Right? Okay. After that, here, let's call alpha and here theta. Notice that alpha plus theta equal 90 degrees. So angle FCD must be equal alpha, right? Okay. Next step, if you focus on the triangle, for the triangle, if you apply a cosine rule, let's create here. So for triangle CFE, if you apply cosine rule, x squared equal 2 over root 5 whole squared plus 2 squared minus 2 times 2 over root 5 times 2 times cosine alpha, right? Then, if you focus on the stringle, for the stringle, if we calculate cosine alpha, cosine alpha equal 4 over root 5 over 2. So, 2 over root 5. Therefore, if we plug in this value into the equation instead of cosine alpha, 2 over root 5, so x squared equal 4 over 5 plus 4 minus 16 over 5, right? So if we equalize numerator and denominator, x squared equal 4 plus 
20 minus 16 over 4. So x squared equal 8 over 5. Let's square root both sides of the equation. So x equal 2 root 2 over root 5. That means x is going to be 2 root 10 over 5. Thanks for watching. If you want more videos like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Take care and bye bye.